Okay guys, uh, Knights Templar back here with Operation GoldenEye. 6.7 USA KMT, January of 1939. So I'm gonna get right into it for my turn to just get this knocked out real quick. So, you know, we can move move along. I know Christmas is coming up soon and New Year's, so I, I know some of us probably will take a few days off. So, you know, might as well just get it all knocked out while we can. Um, to move along. So yeah, anyway, um, so we got six techs. We're gonna go for anti or advanced anti-submarine warfare, heavy carriers, attack transports, strategic rockets, uh, jet fighters, and heavy bombers. So where's my dice tray? There it is. Let's just move the camera over here. Let's grab the dice. And see what we get. So it looks like we did hit advanced anti-submarine warfare, we hit attack transports, and we hit strategic rockets. So another three out of six. So let's go ahead and uh, adjust the technology chart. So it looks like this goes to stage two. This goes to stage two. And attack transports all the way down here. We're at stage one. So we're we're doing pretty good on uh, tech rolls so far this game. Um, let me turn around here. Okay. So on to purchases. Madman Dan did lend Lisa another dollar for the KMT. Um, so we do have seven to spend. However, we're only going to spend four of that and buy an artillery and save three. Um, with the United States, we have $15. We're going to lend lease the UK a seaplane and we're going to lend lease a mountain infantry to the Free French. And we're going to lend lease the KMT and artillery, and that's for 15. Um, no combat moves this turn. Uh, don't feel the need to do anything, so just kind of sit back and relax with the KMT. Um, we are going to do some non-combat moves. So Boston Bruce rolled an 18. Um, on his turn for the uh, 2d12s and I go up to 35. That made me go up to 35. So what that does is at 35 IPP, I can uh, move ships, build facilities, reinforce specific islands, but ships must end movement boarding, uh, bordering US land zones. Um, I, and that's in the Pacific. Um, I do make perform escort duty to allied uh, convoy lines in the Atlantic Ocean within three Z sea zones of U.S. home country. Um, so I'm actually able to move my ships now. So first things first, let's we can move some boats. So starting over here and uh, here, let's kind of zoom out here a little bit. There we go. So over here in sea zone 90, we're actually going to uh, strategic naval movement, this transport. We're going to go uh, one, two, three, four, five into Hawaiian Islands with this transport. Um, this destroyer, we're gonna move, we're gonna move, since it is at a uh, major port here, we can go, we can go one, we can move four, two, three, four. Since it has to be near a US land zone, I will put that in sea zone 66 near Wake Island. Um, Let's see. It's actually, let's move this out of the way. Um, let's go ahead and move this coastal sub. Actually, no, let's move. You know what? I'm not going to move anything over here. No, I'm not going to jump the gun. So let's just leave everything there. That's just everything in the Pacific. Uh, 
KMT. Nothing going over here. Not going to move anything. However, Boston Bruce did catch that. He didn't have anything in Shank Tongue. I was actually going to uh, move my cavalry to take that $2. So, good eye, Bruce. Um, over here. So, over here in C-Zone 43, um, I'm actually going to take this uh, carrier, which is on this... Uh, Task Force Marker, and that is actually going to be moved to C-Zone 21. I'm sorry, uh, C-Zone 30, not 21. C-Zone 30. So, just move that, there we go. Put that right there. And these three ships here move into C-Zone 43, and I'm gonna put those on the uh, task Force Marker into C-Zone 43, yep. Um, and let me see, let me look around the board here, make sure I didn't miss anything. I think we're good. We should be okay. Um, let's go ahead and do uh, place units. And then I'll do a little re uh, recap of what I have in what. So, <clears throat> KMT, we got that artillery. You know what? I'm just going to put both of them in uh, over here and Yunnan. So, we got two artillery there. Um, and then, let's see, this mountain infantry is going to go in northern Algeria, and this seaplane is actually going to go, uh, actually, let's put this uh, mountain in uh, northern Algeria. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to put this seaplane in Northern Ireland, since Northern Ireland is a is part of the home country. I am able to put that seaplane there. Okay. Should be it. KMT did save three. We get one for Yunnan for territory, and we get one for the Burma Road being open. So we are at five dollars to spend next turn. The U.S. spent all of their money this turn, and we will collect thirty-five. So we'll have thirty-five to spend next turn. Um, let's do a recap of what we got in Yunnan. I don't think I did a recap uh, my last turn for Yunnan. So it uh, looks like I've got seven infantry. Let me just double check. Yeah, I got seven infantry plus, let's see how many are in here. Yeah, okay. So we've got 14 infantry. We've got four militia, we've got an AA gun, we've got a cavalry, we've got two mountain, and we got two artillery in Yunnan. Over here on this task force marker, we've got two light cruisers, we've got a destroyer, and two transports, a coastal sub, two battleships, and two heavy cruisers. And then over here, since this uh, sea zone was adjusted, we've got three destroyers, a transport, and a aircraft carrier with a tactical bomber and a fighter. Um, that should do it. So I am actually gonna kick it off to uh, Global War 
36 enthusiast for Germany, 7.1 of July of 1939.